Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I've got this really cute Santa pouch for you. I almost felt guilty bringing this one to you because it's so simple, but I just love it. It was a great seller at my craft fair last week. I'm making a bunch more for one that they've got coming up on December 8th. I'll be at the Fremd High School um, show. I found these adorable little Russell Stover caramel and milk chocolate and marshmallow Santas. And so I made a fun little pouch just to decorate them. I fold the bottom up and fit in so Santa looks out the little window. Isn't that cute? All right, so let's get started with the supplies that you'll need to make these little pouches. I've got a piece of designer series paper that is six and a half by four and a scrap of Whisper Wipe. This is the All is Bright designer series paper. I also have some Rel Red hearts. I just punched these out. It is a retired punch and I don't even know the name of it, but any little heart you have will do. Um, and then I've got some shaded spruce cardstock and you're gonna cut the holly leaves from the Holly Berry Builder punch that's on the clearance rack right now. Pick up this punch, especially if you do craft fairs. It's a great way to embellish stuff with the greatest of ease. MarissaAlvarez.StampinUp.net hit the clearance rack and pick one of these up. We're gonna punch two of the smaller shaded spruce leaf, and I've already done that, okay? Um, my stamp set is Labels to Love. This is from the annual catalog. And Labels to Love coordinates with the Everyday Label Punch. Got that one. Stampin' pads for this project are shaded spruce and real red. And let's go ahead and get started here. You're also going to need your Simply Score tool, so I'm going to grab that. Let me clear some space and we'll get crafting. I almost forgot my two inch circle punch. That's really important. Okay. So I've got my Simply Score tool here, and I'm going to put my designer series paper in with a six and a half inch side across the top. And you're going to score at two and an eighth, but only about uh, maybe a half inch down. And then you're going to score at five and an eighth, about a half inch down. So you're just making some markers there and a place to crimp the paper. Okay? Now we're going to use those two score lines to center our punch. So you're going from the opposite side and you want to go maybe a quarter of an inch down. So you're going to watch this edge of the paper and estimate about a quarter of an inch in. And then you're going to watch these two little marks that you made and line up your punch. Punch your circle. Now you need some tear and tape or some fast fuse. Either will do. And you're going to run across the bottom where the little score lines are with your tear and tape or fast fuse. And then you're going to run up the side. Now you'll see that one, sh one side is shorter than the other. You want to go up that shorter side with your strong adhesive. Okay, so I've peeled the release on my tape and I'm going to just pinch where that little score line is and adhere the bottom of my pouch. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side here. Just pinch where that little score line is. But here, I'm going to adhere the bottom and then go up the back edge of the pouch here. Now you don't want to completely flatten this out. You don't want hard edges. You're actually making a pouch, not an envelope. So you just burnish, and there's your little pouch. How cute is that? All right, see, so our little guy, just fold the bottom edge and tuck him in. Cute, right? All right, slide aside. Let's get our Whisper White cardstock and our ink pads. We'll do some stamping. Got my real red, and I'm gonna ink up the border from Labels to Love. Stamp that on my Whisper White. In a good bold image so give your ink time to transfer beautiful shaded spruce we're gonna ink up the happy Christmas greeting here I'm gonna ink that up nice and strong we're gonna stamp that right in the center cute little happy Christmas now we're gonna punch it out Clear away the ink pads before we stick Santa in one. OK, 
Okay, I've got some Stampin' Dimensionals here. Let's get an open pack and we're gonna put two little dimensionals right below our little cutout window. Add our label. It's gonna cover the window just a little bit. That's okay. And then last up, let's embellish. So we got our little Holly from the Holly Berry Builder Punch. And I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool with the smaller stylus end and I'm just tracing a line from the very top to the very bottom point. And I'm gonna fold, give these Holly some dimension. And I'll take my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm gonna add some glue on the end of the leaf and just embellish the little label with some holly. So cute. All right, then I've got this bitty little heart here. Let's see if I got a mini dimensional. I don't think I have one handy. That's all right. Regular dimensionals make mini dimensionals when you got a pair of scissors. Cut a little piece of dimensional for the back of the heart. And pop up. And there he is. There's our cute little Santa candy pouch. All right, you guys, if you've got any questions, you can email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to place your Stampin' Up! order, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. If there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, reach out. Thanks for watching.